Hello everyone, thank you for watching from Terrace News TV. My name is Envato. Justice Pintanaka of the Federal High Court, Abuja, has ordered the people that stood as sureties for Nambi Kalu, leader of the prescribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob, to pay the N100 million bail bond for failing to produce Kanu to complete his trial. Kanu was facing treason and terrorism charges before Justice Nako, and was granted bail in April 2017 on health grounds. As part of the bail conditions, Kanu was required to produce three sureties who would sign a bail bond of N100 million which they would stand to forfeit should the accused person jump bail. One of the sureties must be a senior highly placed person of Igbo extraction such as a senator, the second must be a highly respected Jewish leader since Kanu said his religion is Judaism, and the third surety must be a highly respected person who owns landed property and is resident in Abuja. Kanu was subsequently released on bail and the following persons stood surety for him, Eninio Abarib, the senator representing Abia South Senatorial District, Ben El Shalom, a Jewish priest, and Tosha Kua Kendu, an accountant. Dot, however, Kanu's whereabouts have been unknown since September 2017, when Nigerian soldiers allegedly raided his home in Amuaya, the Abia state capital. Following the prescribing of the IPO by the federal government, the soldiers had allegedly gone to forcefully arrest Kanu, who at the time had serially breached all his bail conditions, but the attempt failed, and since then nobody seems to know the whereabouts the IPO leader. At the resumption of Kanu's hearing in October 2017, Abarai, one of the sureties, asked the court to remove him as one of the sureties to the accused person, but the trial judge declined the request, asking him rather to ensure that Kanu is present in court on the next adjourned date. When the case came up again for hearing on Wednesday, only Akendu was present in court. Abraib and El Shalom were only represented by their counsels, and this did not go down well with the trial judge. Justice Nako said she would have ordered for the arrest of the sureties, but had to change her mind because of the presence of one of them in court. She, however, ordered that the three must forfeit the N100 million bail bond they signed to secure Kanu's release. Before you take anybody on bail, you must ensure it is a person you can vouch for and a person you can produce in court. Even if Mr. Namdi Kanu is in Israel or he is in Saudi Arabia, that is not my business. I am not interested in the fact that they found Mr. Namdi Kanu. You can talk from today till tomorrow, but they will forfeit the bail bond, Nako told one of the counsels for the sureties. After much pleadings from the counsels, Justice Nako agreed that the forfeiture order would last for just six months. The case was subsequently adjourned to March 26 and 27, 2019. Thank the watch report from Terrace News TV. Not anything has happened to him through before him. Now, the mother will be that will bring the answer to the mother before against him. Now, this is a person before the court on court bail, and the military who are under the control of the same federal government that brought him before this court went to start on September 2017. When they know that the man is coming up on September October 2017 for for hearing. Was to arrest him and to continue to say this. They were waiting for him to come to court on the October 27th August and arrest him. Oh, and, and it is no worrisome when, at before the invasion of his premises, no one of the security agents has external lenders of the shop to him to appear before them, either the police or the military or the SSS, on grounds of investigation of any offense against him or complaint against him. Now, so the intention, the intendment of limiting military for invasion of his premises on the for him of the plan to was nothing but to just kill him. The invasion of premises because it's now established by various reports and the uh, available evidence before the, before, before the public that over 28, 28 members of IPOB were slaughtered, massacred in his house. So if he was also uh, killed in the process, because they, they want to kill him, who have also been killed in the process. So of course you are aware that he was shot severally uh, before the by 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 providence he was uh, he, was, he was evacuated. So otherwise he would have been killed today. So this this. Circumstances has to be investigated by the court hard because that has presented what they call a force major on the 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 on the, on the, on the, on the short to produce him. Because what led to his uh, to his non appearance for the court is matter beyond the control of the shorties. It's unexpected. 
But at the time that they, 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 were, they were taking him on shorty, he was they were asked to bring him before this court on October 27th. Now, without reference to them, in the event you are investigating him or you have invited him to appear before any certain agents, you never call them to bring him before them. You now went there and kill people and possibly shoot him. So I wish he never escaped. So what does that mean? You have to explain it. How are you sure that he's in court, if he's in court today, they will not kill him? How are you sure? Because the safety cannot be guaranteed. But, uh, based on all these facts you have just stated, now it appears based on the argument that has been going on today in the courts that the chief judge herself didn't want to list him to those excuses of the fact that the defendant no, was no, not. No, 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 no. no. Sir, we have the On the reason why those applications must be had, because the, the court cannot dump the court. The court must hear these applications. But they have asked for social so sure cause. Why the other official cannot be made against them? Now, showing cause means find a bit before the court, tell the court, demonstrating before the court on reason why this person can no longer be produced, which he gave to us. Now, the court must have to listen to circumstances surrounding the invasion of his premises and why it's not the court today. He must hear it. So, when that is done on 28th of March 2019, then the court will deliver on it. Then, whichever way it goes, we don't, we don't probably we think we don't want to have to go about it. Okay, how about fulfilling the bail, the bail bond that she stated earlier? No, you mean like to control she, that? Reluctantly, which I know from from the from the from the from the, from the, from the uh, town masses of the court made an order that should pay certain amount of money within the period of six months. So, and you know, from now to six months, that application must have been had. And if she said that if you hear that application no, and found it no, meritorious, no, she will reverse his no, order. Uh, so, and it's not automatic to pay that money. That's something because the, 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 the payment of that money network. before the six months' time amounts to putting the card before the horse, jumping the gun. Because the application must be had on the menu and the ruling deliver before taking further steps from there. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. In addition, okay. this is what has been the status of today's court. Uh, uh, the commandant of Mass and that right team is here. Should they be around the way? Thank you, Madam. Let me contest swiftly. Okay. I told the people before now that this will have no case against them. I told you in plain language that there's no case against our people. Because the matter came up last year, June. Uh, last June to the 15th. Oh, yeah. And the, from June to, to today, today is the uh, 14th of, of, of November 2018, they don't have witnesses before the court. They wouldn't travel to whatever they call it, and uh, it's just arrived just today, and on account of that, they cannot be in court. So that shows they have no witness to give evidence against them. So, and also, we have final application challenging the competency of the charge they well. prefer against them. We should have brought to the attention of the court that the application must be had and disposed of. And in line with the Federal High Court criminal civil direction, uh, practice direction, that say that application challenging the competence of the charge, an objection, must be had within 14 days of being filed and delivered on, and really delivered on it before proceeding. So the court adjourned the matter for here another application and possible trial. Because when that application is found, had and found meritorious, it brings an end to this case. That's because there's no charge before the court. The true evidence attached to whatever they've called.